Today we're going to be looking at the exploding slug. These slugs feature fins in the back of the slug to stabilize during flight. The cavity for the explosive compound is roughly about three quarter inch deep and is the exact diameter of a number 209 shotgun primer. On average a three pack of these will cost you about $15. These three slugs here are numbered because I've used different combinations in each slug to determine which gives the best explosion and does the most damage. Shotgun slug 1 contains a binary explosive, similar to tannerite, completely packed and then topped off with a thin layer of foil and some Loctite to trap in the compound so it doesn't escape during flight. Slug number two contains the ingredients and in the recommended assembly according to the manufacturer. It has Winchester shotgun powder packed all the way to the brim with just enough room for a number 209 shotgun primer. And finally slug number three contains the same binary explosive as slug number one. However, it has enough room that there's a number 209 shotgun primer topping it off. So let's see how this does. So this is the impact right here. As you can see, it didn't really do anything to the I-beam. It dented it a little bit, discolored it. You can see that's actually shrapnel right in there because that's not powder coming off. So you can see where it hit right in here. Kind of the same effect. The slug just kind of vaporizes as it hits. It just kind of expands and then vaporizes as it just proceeds to create shrapnel. It looks like it created a decent amount of shrapnel. You can see all the marks from it. However, it didn't do as much damage as the first one. You can see the first one did a little bit more damage. So it looks like the tannerite's the better way to go. So right here is where the third shell hit. As you can see, it did still more damage than the second shell. About the same as the first. It's the same material, so it's not that surprising. So they're definitely fun to use. However, I would exercise caution with it. I would not recommend it as anything practical in any sort of a defense situation. Even if you're trying to punch holes in a truck or a car, you're really not going to do a whole lot of damage with it. And my guess is, against personnel, it's probably not going to detonate. It's a dense enough slug that it's really probably just going to go through them. It's, if it does flatten, it's probably not going to cause enough friction for the tannerite to detonate, it's definitely not going to cause enough friction for the shot shell powder to detonate, even with the primer, unless the person's wearing body armor. Even then, if they're wearing body armor, looks like it's going to splatter a little, 
but overall, they're going to be fine. So, definitely a fun round to play around with. However, not practical. But still, loads of fun. Thanks for watching. This is Destroyer, signing off. Here in the Destroyer Education Network, we get a lot of opportunities to test out different products and find out if they're really all they're cracked up to be. These are products that we want to make sure will actually work out in the field and won't break down when you need them most. So if you're looking for gear that's going to be reliable and will work properly and won't give out on you, take a look at the Den Gear Store. A lot of the products that we've reviewed are also offered on our website. Just go to www.destroyer.net and click on the link that says Buy Den Gear and that will take you to our website which has a lot of great products ranging from knives to optics different gun accessories, tactical gear, survival gear, you name it.